going on everybody welcome back to the channel we made it back to cedar point one more time um there's only five days left in the year and we wanted to come and kind of check out and see where some of the uh, houses are at where no, everything that's, else that's is that's in a rub i just saw the cedar point hearse go that way oh nice this is always a cool thing but yeah we're, we're here with the kids the chicklings <laughs> are in the background so we're like i said we're here to see where the houses are at how the decorations will look Try ride to wise, the weather. yeah, um, and check out ride times. See what that looks like. So uh, these two can't wait to get in. So let's go. It's actually some pretty cool stuff up there. I hate to be the one to take it down. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? We finally made it back one more time. There's only five days left in the year, so we decided we'd come out and see. What everything is going on, you know, all the uh, haunts and everything. It is a Saturday afternoon. This place is already packed. It's about 12:30 in the afternoon, but we're really just here to see what the park's like, what all the haunts are like. Maybe catch a few rides before the end of the year. I don't know. Let's see what happens. I don't know if they're excited for us to be here, or if they're just saying, "Stop! Don't go any further." This is one of the coolest things that you see here at the park as we're getting bombarded by the raptor. One of the cool things you see in the park, they kind of made a monumental graveyard to all the old rides. So like the Frontier Lift, which I rode as a kid a lot of times. Um, disaster Transport, I refuse to call it the Disaster Transport. I will only call it by what it was, which was Avalanche Run. If you do not like it, too bad. Oh yeah. <laughs> you come over here and then you see of course Space Spiral, who is right next to Avalanche run. That's where uh, that's where Gatekeeper is now. So, but yeah, this is kind of like a cool, cool little graveyard for all the older rides, including Whitewater Landing, one of my favorite ones to do. Did it just die? No, it didn't. Okay, there it goes. One of the most epic hangs out there. And then out of sight. So it's a ridiculously busy day today. A lot busier than I thought it was going to be. We're at uh, um, almost to the midway, actually. Actually, no, we're in the midway. Yeah, we're on the we're on the midway. But we're midway through the midway. Yeah. <laughs> And it's the, it's, this is the second Saturday left of the season. And with the forecast being the way it was, we thought, oh, it's not going to be busy. It's packed. Like, we parked out 38A. Yeah, so, we, par we parked out around the North 40, so. But with the forecast being the way it is today, a lot of things are not up and running. Top Thrill's not running. The uh, Wind Seeker and the sky ride carts are not running because the wind is just too much. In fact, we just got a wind advisory for this particular area, so. And it looks ugly. Yeah, we'll see how things go. Like I said, it wasn't, this wasn't a long trip. We really came out to see how well things are on a Halloween weekend, where the haunts actually are, and try and get in a ride or two before well, the end of the year. Loose. <laughs> so, we'll see how things go, but uh, I think going back that way, we're heading back to the frontier. It's one of the best pictures, especially, I'm sure they've used this a lot, when you can see literally what looks like Gemini all the way in the back, yeah, through the corkscrew, and power tower, and top throw. And the ugly sky behind it. Yeah, there's some ugly sky behind it, there is no doubt. This is going to be a fun day. They also start doing a show here called the uh, Skeleton Crew. There you go. It's actually a pretty cool stage. I like how it looks. I like the effect on it. Busy today is off 
the charts. I mean, even Iron Dragon has a half hour wait. Raptor had an hour and a half wait. Fifteen minutes, not too surprising. Rougarou isn't a, it's a good ride. Don't get me wrong, great ride ever since they switched it out to seats. But no surprise it's only a 15 minute drive as I'm getting buzzed here in a second. Again, you just gotta love the sound of a coaster riding by. It's one of the coolest things. Now I'm pretty sure Millennium Force, when we go over to that one, is going to be a lot more, probably around the hour and a half, two hours. So far, you got hour and a half for Raptor, you've got uh, a half hour for Iron Dragon, 15 minutes here, gonna look at probably an hour over at Millennium Force, so yeah, this would be the typical Saturday. So we battled through the first rain delay. It's starting to sprinkle again. We're just trying to get to a bathroom. Um, it is still packed. They just shut down some of the rides um, because of the rain. So obviously more is coming through. And we are in a packed section of the park. You wouldn't think it would be packed. But it's just how it is. It's going to be one of them days. We knew it would be. But this rain is going to more than likely clear out most of the park. I don't know. We'll see what happens. So I don't know if anybody does it or not, but if you guys collect press pennies, there's one right here, right outside of Millennium Force, and everybody else is huddled up under there. But yeah, the press pen, penny machine, and you get uh, a Cedar Point one, they have Millennium Force, Ruggeroo, and then there's Top Throw Dragster. It's 51 cents, but that's not bad. Take a look at how things were out there. I have been here through rain. I have been here through thunder. I have been here through power outages. We've been here through power outage, which we'll actually link that video up in the corner, wherever, somewhere. But I've never been here when ice fell from the sky. Wobble, which is the little ice pellets that fall. Yeah, it's like hail, but it's not hail. It's something totally different, so. That was a new experience. I guess anywhere you come. Oh, Hi. big guy socket. <laughs> I gotta lower my ponytail. Yeah, it's gonna be one of them days. It's gonna be one of them days, but right now you can kind of see that the weather is already starting to thin people out. Uh, Millennium Force only said 45 minutes, but I'm pretty sure that was because of the weather. I want to say that one was longer, so I don't know. Well, it back to running up. I have a feeling that a lot of it has to do with. There might have been a lightning area. Possibility. So. Possibility. You guys remember in the last video that we did, we showed off this. They've obviously added some stuff, uh, some tombstones, some other things. They got the coffin closed up right now, but they got added a few other little niches and touches. This is, of course, again back by uh, Millennium Force, which is still waiting to get back in gear, but you can kind of see the skies as to how it is. And this is how the day is going to go now. It's time to head into the Trail of the Forsaken, or what it's like to be standing in a ride and the ride to go down on you. It's the same thing. We finally caught him. We finally caught Spider-Man. Quick, now run. This may be Another one of those cool and epic shots that you get to see throughout the park. This is in Frontierland. This used to be the old uh, um, log the ride. Shoot the Rapids. This used to be the Shoot the Rapids uh, deal. The train will actually come on through here, but this is in and around where Shoot the Rapids is at. And you can kind of see 
how epically everything blends into the park so well. I'm eventually going to want to try this. I don't know why. Nice fluffy cloud there, yeah. Going on the uh, sky coaster. Every, every single coaster in the park right now is shut down. It is quiet. Okay. And, you, and you remember, and remember again, uh, like that video that we said is going to be up in the corner um, that we're going to tag in on. Walking through when there wasn't any power going on was weird as it starts really, to sprinkle Nature? again. <laughs> I know it's still kind of raining right now, but I wanted to show you guys this. This is the um, roadkill one um, here, Slaughterhouse. The entrance is actually right past the uh, barnyard. So literally across from the frontier fling, across from that, you come right into here, straight on back through there, and then into the back is where the uh, haunted house is for that side of things. Everybody kind of ducking and taking cover because it's raining again, and it's so much fun. This is actually something kind of cool. This is going back into Frontier Town. We're near the uh, midway portion of it actually headed out. But this is something cool going back into the uh, Frontier Trail. And then this one here, a little interesting uh, combo ticket for you guys to check out. 15 for one or three and three at 35. Not too bad of a deal. There you go, right here. This is the next one for you guys. This is Corn Soccer. They drain out Thunder Canyon so that you can actually walk through Thunder Canyon. It's very cool. But yeah, it's back here uh, where the entrance for Thunder Canyon is. Uh, Corn Soccer is not too bad of a one. It's actually kind of cool. But outside of every single one of them, there are hours. So I'll let you know that it's only open on Friday and Saturday. Always closed on Sunday. See number five. This one will, yeah. Yeah, this one is designed to freak the living daylights out of you, but they only have it open from eight to midnight, uh, Friday and Saturday. So not on Sunday. Hey, look up. So back here in the Frontier Trail, you're in between basically the track for Maverick, the giant swings. And of course, Chick-fil-A, you come up to your next big one, which is the Fear Ground Freak Show, or better known as the guy with a face that happens to... I'm pretty sure this is the same face that's made by people standing in line for over an hour, and the ride goes down. <laughs> so yeah, here's another one of the signs. Again, this one is actually open all weekend. Sunday goes from 3 to 8. Uh, Friday, Saturday is uh, eight to midnight, six to midnight. So yeah, six to midnight. And this one also five. goes to five. A pretty high fear factor on it. So something also kind of keep an eye on. Always has a long queue because this is again another one of those ones where a lot of people like coming to. Yeah. It's the 147th Frontier Town Harvest Fear. It's a time to sow and a time to reap. And you guys should know what that means. So also where they have a lot of the cool games that they do. And it's not really games. It's just, you know, the props that they kind of set up. Which we showed you guys these earlier, but these are actually up and going. So like there's Racco Rats here. We got all those ones. You have a very bad joke for a singing beaver. Ah! We'll, we'll put anybody on camera if you want to be. <laughs> I don't think anybody wants cat kisses. Ah, uh, Mine Ride, you're such a cool, cool little ride. We love you to death. But right now it seems like you're not moving. The Wheel of Misfortune. I.e., what happens when the Detroit Lions take the field? <laughs> so this right here leads back in as you go toward back toward uh, Steel Vengeance and uh, Maverick. Back there is also where the uh, Pirate Scarehouse is. It's really packed back there, so it's kind of hard for us to record. As the wind now and some rain is starting to kick in. All right, so we've made it back here into the Camp Snoopy thing. Uh, the kids are with us today, so. 
that's the reason why we're kind of just roaming the park. But this is kind of what I wanted to do. I wanted to show off where all the haunts were and whatnot, but I'm beginning to see that the more this day goes on, the more packed this is becoming. So it's actually pretty cool. Um, we are gonna cut this a little bit shorter than we wanted to because that was, that was cool. We get a uh, Millennium Force drive by there. Um, in about an hour, there is a line that is cutting through Michigan that's gonna cut through Cedar Point and the temps are going to drop from well, around the mid 50s or so down around the 40s awesome. so i don't know how well that's going to do on things but we're definitely going to make sure that we are out of town um before that cuts through but i will say you know overall on a day like this uh halloween weekend halloween weekends are always going to be packed you know you would think um a day where there was supposed to be rain and whatnot coming through um you thought it would be less Guess not. Guess we were wrong. So we got a few other haunts and whatnot that we want to show off, and that'll be it. So let's go. Out, let's go see what else we can find, though. I think there's still a few good things left to see. I'm not sure what this really weird thing called sunlight is, but it decided to just show up for probably all of like 10 seconds. Oh, there is blue sky. It won't last long. Check out what's in the distance. It's coming. Another cool thing here inside of Camp Snoopy is of course the theater. They only typically do two shows, but it's right here, right when you come in to the entrance. Over here by uh, Gemini. Psychiatric help. Perfect for people we know. There's a few. Yeah. <laughs> Here's what Laura was just talking about a minute ago, the uh, Spooky Snoopy I Spy, you can help Snoopy um, in his quest to find some spooky fun objects in the classic game. And then what it is is right past where the balloon race is, is the part where you actually go and you get your card to play this game at. Rest in peace, Switch's Wheel. You were such a fun ride, but as you can see, construction walls are up as Magnum starts I making its up. way up. But, yep, construction walls are up. That one's kind of cool though. There's another one for you. Blood on the Bayou. It has been one of the longest ones at Cedar Point. Um, again, another rating of five. Um, I believe this one is open all weekend, but it is one of the ones that has been here the longest. You have a pretty uh, queue. You move through it very fast though. I will say that. You can move through it very fast. That is though a very cool setup. And this is right across from Power Tower. Um, as you can see right there, just along the walkway alongside of Corkscrew and whatnot. That's what Blood and Bayou rocks. They're getting one more ride on the Cedar Point down. We are eight skating and motivating because that storm is coming quicker than we thought. Uh, that line is already on the line of Ohio and it's gonna hit here pretty quickly. So letting them get through. But take a look at this midway shot that I do. Alright, so that's it. We've been here for a few hours. It was an absolute blast. Like I said, we came out here to really see like what the time would be like, where the uh, houses and whatnot were, but uh, we need to go. There is a storm coming our way that 
just says get out. <laughs> so that's where we are headed. Um, it's been a great year. Next year, next year is going to be nice. Everybody's with us. So, but yeah, next week or next year, excuse me, 2019. Uh, you guys are going to like how we're going to do up the channel. So. Make sure that you like and subscribe to the channel. If you have not, if you're checking it out for the first time, thank you very much for stopping by. And as always, if you got any comments, like, you know, suggestions and whatnot, by all means, let us know. We're not yeah. shy. We don't bite hard. Yeah. You can always stop by and say hi to us. If you see us in the park, we'll put you in the video. No problem with that. But yeah, like I said, thank you as always for stopping by. 2018 Cedar Point season in the books. Can't wait for 2019. We got other stuff coming along the way. We have other stuff. We've got video games and we've got a bunch of stuff happening in Michigan and there's snow at some point, I'm sure. Lord knows what that'll bring if the wind kicks in. See you guys later. Peace.